This is Mike with NoStressMike.com. I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the worst uh, health issue that most people have to face, which is the easiest to take care of, but you will not be educated about this. They're, they're not going to be told about it because it's such a money maker. Everybody makes so much money off of the symptoms from this that they won't tell you about it. Okay, just an example of some of the symptoms that you're going to face if you have this uh, particular problem. Okay, you're going to have low back, uh, low back problem, uh, aches and pains in the low back, uh, uh, hips, knees, ankles, those all could be associated with it, uh, urinary problems, including, including infections, um, uh, the toxins staying in because you're not flushing properly, uh, causing the bladder uh, not to work properly, uh, a lot of your uh, bladder cancers, um, uh, just uh, endless, all, uh, in all of the urinary uh, issues are related to this. Um, let's see, uh, uh, adrenal fatigue, the adrenal glands sit on top of the kidneys, and when your kidneys swell, then that uh, messes up your adrenal glands, so you get that. Uh, in which that will cause you uh, uh, sleeping problems. You're going to end up rolling around a lot. Uh, you just can't get comfortable. And uh, what everybody knows about is this bloating, holding water. You know, that's all, all related to the same thing. Um, uh, swollen prostate, uh, leading to cancer. That, that's, that's there. Uh, kidney stones, uh, arthritis. Uh, when the urine's not moving properly, it's staying in there, all the toxins staying in there, so you end up, instead of circulating good, clean blood, you start uh, circulating uh, contaminated blood, in which, when it gets to the joints and places where it's hard to lubricate or hard to get circulation, uh, these toxins are kind of settle in there, and then you wait long enough, well, then you're going to have arthritis problems. Uh, let's see, fatigue. It's plain tired, and that's because your blood, if your blood doesn't have any nutrition in it, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to give you the strength and energy that you need. Uh, that could be leading to uh, headaches. Uh, a lot of headaches are caused by the same thing. Um, let's see, uh, all your, uh, not all, well, not all of them, but a lot of your uh, uh, blood issues uh, will be uh, through this uh, hormonal. Uh, disorders, um, and where that leads to, nobody knows. There's people that study this all the time, and they still have a hard time trying to uh, get hormones regulated right and all this kind of stuff. Well, like I say, if your blood's not, uh, it's got too much toxins in it, it's not going to, not going to, uh, because the blood is what kicks in your hormones. And so if your blood's full of toxins, it's not going to kick them in at the right time the right way. Uh, all your joint problems, tendons, uh, ligaments, uh, muscle ache, uh, what's that, uh, you know, just, you know, all kinds of gout, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that's going to be related to this. Okay, now, what it is, is right here, the pelvis. Now, what happens, the pelvis will be twisted. Just a little bit. It might not even show up on um, x-rays and stuff, but what I say, it'll get twisted just a little bit. One side here will come up, and the other side will be down. Just a little bit. When that happens, it pinches a nerve, and because your bladder is sitting right in there. So then the bladder isn't going, going to uh, empty out properly. Um, men, uh, if you remember right, when you were young and healthy, you could pee, you know, Eight, ten feet away. You could, you could pee six foot up a wall. But as we get older, we can't do that anymore. One of the reasons is because the nerves to the bladder isn't helping you release properly. Along with the, the muscles along the front up here, along the front of the abdomen right there, pressing. You're losing all this muscle strength. So you can't urinate properly. And so it ends up, you just urinate a little bit, maybe a half, and you got to go back and do it again two or three times a night. You know, all this is because the 
the twisted bladder or a twisted pelvis. Uh, women uh, will notice uh, when this happens, uh, when they go to the bathroom, they'll go sit down, urinate. When they stand up, they can go sit down, urinate some more. Stand up, sit down, urinate some more. Okay, that's because they're not able to release properly. The, the kidneys aren't, or the bladder's not working properly. And same thing, they'll sneeze or laugh and they'll wet their pants. It was, it's the same thing. This thing here is twisted, just a little bit. Now, when this happens, I say it pinches the nerve in which the bladder doesn't work real right. So you're not getting the proper release. But another thing that it does when it's twisted, when the pelvis is twisted here, this is twisted right here. You see big old hip bones right there? Those right there? They're twisted. They're not straight. One's up, one's down. Just a little bit. Okay, now when this happens, now your hip uh, joints aren't in line. So then you're going to have to twist your hip a little bit to walk properly. And that'll be on both sides. And then when you twist on them, the same thing with your knees. Your knees aren't going to be straight. And same thing with your ankles. Okay, How, why do you think there's so many hip and, and knee replacements? Is there's nothing wrong with the hips and the knees. It is the pelvis that's not proper. It's not straight. So it leads to misalignment to these other ones. The joints wear wrong, and then you end up needing a replacement. Okay. Now another thing, when these, this right here is twisted like this, there's pressure right here, right on the top of your tailbone, uh, right at the bottom of the lumbar, right there. And there's pressure. And that's where all the nerves are, the sciatic nerve. It comes down right along, right, right, right along your your uh, buttocks right there and that's why it hurts when you sit down hurts when you stand up and all that it's caused right here because the pelvis is twisted okay this gets twisted this gets twisted puts pressure right there okay when this is all twisted this is out of alignment is and then it goes right on up no nope, they'll fix all this stuff but they're not going to fix the pelvis a lot of times they say they are, but they're not. Uh, they just don't do it. Because that's why you'll know it, because you have to come back. Every month, you have to come back. Every time you have to come back every month, they're not fixing it. If it was fixed, you wouldn't have to come back every month. So, uh, now, Hoi Chi, I do fix this. And I make, uh, I got uh, internet lessons you can take on how to do it. You can do the same thing. I got books. Uh, on how to fix this thing. It doesn't take anything. What you do is just reach in there and you just push it down. That's all it is. It's a very, very simple procedure to do. The only thing is, is after you fix it, then you also have to fix the, the hip joints and the knees and fix everything that the symptoms that that costs. All this, your tailbone is going to have to be realigned. Uh, like I say the, the tendons are all going to be weak. Uh, because like I said, when the kidney's not doing its job, then you're going to have toxins into the, uh, the tendons and ligaments, and that's what holds everything straight. Okay, now people say, well, why does this come, come loose like that? One reason is weak tendons and ligaments, because your body's not doing its job on holding everything straight. But another reason could be uh, a fall. Uh, that's an easy one. Uh, when you go to uh, sneeze, you go to the side and you twist. And you, when you sneeze, you twist it. When you do like that, that'll put a twist in it. Um, you've uh, stepped down a step and you thought it, your foot was was expecting to stop here, but it went down a little bit more like that. Well, that little jar right there is enough to make that uh, uh, get twisted. Uh, you could sneeze, uh, that'll make it happen. Uh, there's a lot of things. I'm, I'm not saying you're doing it on purpose, but what I'm saying is it can, uh, it will happen. And it does happen, like I say, 90% of my people uh, have that problem. And uh, no one ever fixes it, uh, they don't. And um, because like I say, there's more money in you being sick than there is when you're healthy. So, uh, and that's, that's why you need to really focus on the pelvis and how that works. But um, another way to tell when your um, kidneys aren't working properly 
is uh, you'll have a cut uh, and it doesn't want to heal fast like it did when you were younger. Well, that's because all the toxins in your body is unable to heal quick. Uh, you, you have an infection. Now, uh, medical doesn't see infections until they're really bad. But in my world, if it's not perfect, it's going to show up somewhere in your body. And uh, any type of a uh, cut or um, um, any, anything like that, a burn, anything like that should heal really quick. If not, then you have uh, too much toxins in your body.